Hello everyone and oh, there we go. Today we are watching a replay submitted by friend Avark and the Iron Duke. Possibly the best matchmaker you can ask for a tier five. Well, really, it is a top tier. Lowest one's a tier three, and all the rest are tier fours. But you know what they say about the Duke? It's still a half bastard to kill, and he is going to prove that solemnly. I'm also going to prove them if that not always firing HP is a good idea. As he starts off, he's gonna by looks he's gonna head towards A. Alrighty. Team split up, is gonna split up a little bit on a lemming train. So we're going to have Isakaze, Konigsberg, and Kuma, along with the Phoenix and the friend himself, go towards A. Not much happens at the start of this battle. Really, when he gets towards about nearly when everyone's dead, it starts to get interesting. So let's just sit back and watch the show, shall we? Huh. Oh. I don't really like the Iron Duke myself. I got up tier too much. Every match was like a tier 7, it was really annoying. First ship spotted. Furious Takao. Isakazo's got him. First into the cap circle. Pro Tiger isn't the only one hiding up there though. Is going to be the Waka. It's the Wakatake. It's the Wakatake and also the Kel Shirt. B170 spotted over at sea. Really, so far the team doesn't seem to know what they're doing. That Wyoming, though. We're going to be hearing a lot from him. And I'm not sure if he lives up to his name or not, but Faster definitely isn't a Wyoming style. Take some shots at the Wakatake. RNG though is not going to be treating him well here. Typical. One incapacitation, no shell hits, no damage. Just incapacitated. Cal sure though, not looking where he's going. Though it's supposed to be expected from tier 4 ships. They're not very skilled yet. Most of their skill comes in it. I reckon most people actually start learning around about tier 8. Full salvo at the Cal sure. And incapacitation, one pen, no damage still. Not very, it doesn't get very exciting at the start, but the battleships. A lot of the excitement comes in the close, by the end of the game when everything's dead, mostly the destroyers. Takes another shot out of the Kalshur. Kalshur's turning in, most of these are going to miss, I think. Though, yep, all miss. He should be dead soon. And then he spot. Spur attack is out of range. Yep. First kill. There goes the Kel Sher. And then he spot then friend spots for the tier five Frenchie. Just coming into range. Only been in the sh only been in the game about a week. It's not a bad ship in tier five French. Definitely goes down well definitely goes down well for the new players. It's a good line to go down and get from the French line. The line's an absolute beast. Shotgun mode enabled. Line full shot up on the French. On the rocket launcher. Shots out. First time he's actually been detected this game, I'm sure. Shots of grouping in, looking nice. Three hits and one fire set. That is the first damage he's going to be doing this match. 
flickering for different targets, but Frenchie's probably giving him the best. Slowing down so he can keep his guns on him. Shots out again. I'm not sure whether he's burnt his damage control party or he actually knows what he's doing. It's very hard to tell though, but all those shells miss, so there's no point. Fire's still raging. Damage is, um, numbers are still going in. Lining out the shot. Shots are out. Fire's out. 10k so far. And there's the first kill. They've enemy team have lost four ships. A destroyer and two cruisers. One battleship. Friends team have lost one battleship and one cruiser. There's our faster, stronger friend. He's currently going up against the Koenig. Good shot, good shot. Looks like they're going in. 1947, good damage for one shot. HG that is at least. And the Wyoming has really overextended. He's rushing for the Isokaze by the looks. But he's not gonna make it. They've got he's got a Wyoming and another and a Koenig firing at him. Also, by looks to Furutaka. Isokaze looks like he's making a rush for the smoke screen to drop, but currently gets him. And that's him for the arch. Dirt now moving out, trying to get a line on the coding. He's now, for now, seven minutes in the game, he's only done 15,300. 15, but don't worry, that number's going to get a lot bigger in a very short amount of time. Shots go in, one hit, one fire. And defended. Very good. Isokaze's torps are heading in. Moving in now, moving towards the centre of the map, outside's been taken. At the moment they're looking pretty good, look, they're look, having good odds. Each ship has lost an equal number of ships. Friends team are in the lead, they just, enemy has just managed to cap B. Oh, detected, what do we have here? Let's see, what could possibly spot him? Looks the V-170 may be close. Shots out on the Omaha. Omaha is making a full turn around. And there's our little V-70. Looks like a submarine really. Very tiny ship. Oh, careful. Don't run running ground. Into it. Looks like he's looking, going for the shot on the Omaha. Red flag 2018. Interesting, eh? I don't like it all. Shots out. Looking alright. Keeping his eye around. Making sure he doesn't want to get a hit. V170 going up against the Isokaze. Really, you don't want to be in any sort of a gunfight in a and a Japanese destroyer, more torpedoes in my opinion. And the Koenig just took out the Ferrataka. Oh, and there's our little V-170 friend. First shots, somehow phase through the destroyer. And the Isokaze just got detonated. At this point in time, I don't think the V-70's noticed, V-170's noticed that he's actually got a battleship to his side until he actually gets hit by it. Secondaries are opening up.
I think 170 must pull some strange maneuver, either reverses or full left. But all those shots miss, he's still detected. There's the first eye of the torps. Oh, pretty goodly aim, but still miss nonetheless, and the good aim shot is still a miss. Yeah, that was just me moving the mouse. Right, goes in for a broad. We should be seeing uh, our little German friend soon. Many thanks. Torpedoes, direct front. No other lot of torps. Most likely from the forward launches. There's the other one, so... Let's say our friend just in front. Yep, there he is. First salvo, miss. Got another set of torps coming in. Next one, not so much. And that is his second kill. 2200... 22,086. Two kills. Uh, 13 hits. 3 fires set, it's not bad. 8, eight minutes left in the game, roughly. Looks like the Wyoming wants to be our next target. Four batteries are fired. No mass or miss. Right, coming around the side. And only two shells, one shattered, one pent. cards again. Nice dispersion on that one. It's very rare to see that. Two fires set. Secondaries are starting to open up again. And this, right about here is where the damage starts pouring in. And you think, I know everyone's thinking, just a raw battleship fire an HE again. But look, we have an AP. Most people don't actually realise that these things do still have usable AP. A brief battleship firing AP is just as dangerous as its sling and HG. Especially when this sort of range is in use. Less than one kilometre, this thing can still nail you for half your health. That's a good damage there. Good example, 16k salvo. Secondaries are opening up. And here's the problem here with these battleships. Especially low tiers. Their turrets don't spin particularly fast, but the Wyoming is a little bit slower. And that's going to give them the edge. And then. Oddly, a little bit interesting how we got an arsonist on that one. Usually I thought you only get them from burning someone down, but, nonetheless, first metal, 64k damage. When he, ha when he first saw that Wyoming, he had 22. Instant 20k damage. Well, 22k. So he doubled. Wait, no. No, I'm saying myself wrong. Uh, 40. 42k damage is what that was. Full Wyoming health. Pretty good. Three kills, six fires set, 30 hits. Pretty good for a tier 5 match. That's why I'm asking for the cruisers to have B. Cruiser Zarek's doing it. That's pretty good. Ah, oh, another hit. And the Koenig we saw before, who's already got Confederate. And you were, right now they're going, they're pretty good on points, they have almost doubled the amount of points, which is really good. Friend fires again, looking straight out. Now the shots go in, sets a fire, very good. Next slot go in, one in, knocks out his turret and gets a pen. G. 
just passing 70k damage now. Turning around, and there goes one of the cruisers. And that's not all, it won't be long before he's alone. Orion seems to be capping A. Four attacks just sling over the island. Yep, but RNG decides, nope, not happening. Slings them over, misses the ship completely. King George, Koenig seems to be burning though. Coming down to a fairly low health. Trying to spin the back turrets around. Though, will he need them? By oh, looks, yes, the fire is just burnt out. Sends all three just to be safe. There's the high caliber and confederate for the Koenig. But there's also his death. Mio Bertan going up against the Farragut there. I mean, not the Farragut, the Farataka. Alright. Yep. And there goes the Farataka. Friend here is now alone against four enemies. Possible solo warrior. But he has now no points coming in, so he either needs to cap. Or really, he needs to kill that Orion. Shots came in from the Koenig just there. Oh, that Koenig disappeared. Now between him and Orion right now. Shots out. One shatter, looking pretty. Not the best result you want, even for AG round. Look, shots are going in. Here comes the Orion salvo. And the Orion doesn't seem to get what ship he's actually driving, which is weird. These things start on default on AG, but he seems to think he must be a really hard battleship driver. It's firing all AG. It's firing all AP though, all time. That's the tent fires set. Orion instantly extinguishes them. Don't know why he's got the health to, damp to take it. More bound. More ricochets off the on the Orion, and only he's set on fire by the Koenig. The ship is on fire. Just at the next round, switches to a AP. Start another three fires. That's 13 set this match. 83k. Secondaries are opening up. It's a little bit hard to miss an Orion. There we go. Koenig's now slinging more HG at him. Friend Arbach here holding the angle good. And this is why you always switch rounds in these things. AP works just as good, especially at close range. Kraken Unleashed. The ship is on fire. Oh, we're, not, we're not done yet though. There's the Farataka, 106k. And the Farataka is doing something really stupid. He's going broadside, even a battleship. You should never go broadside, even if it's this one. And here's the proof. First shots go in, Citadel. High caliber and Confederate. That's a 6 kill, 116k damage. There's the Omaha, and friend really now doesn't see the point. He's got next to none health, he's burning, no repair. Basically this is a lost cause. Really it's all down to the team, I reckon. Although they did do a good fight, but let's see how many people were killed. Alright, missed it. It's only about 4 kills.